Baptizer One from the ID crew. I'm originally American. I moved to South London in 1982. When I first moved to England, my, my cousin and was doing punk graffiti. He took us to go and see the future piece that was done under the West Way. He was like, this dude rapped on the Clash album. So we were like, wow, that's amazing. <laughs> There was a, a funk piece that kind of appeared one day with Afro character with goggles on. And I was like to my cousin, I was like, what, what's this funk mean? And he was like, I don't know, it's some kind of bullshit soul music. And I was like, yeah, but that's the best shit I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> the whole kind of wave of South London bus bombing, because there isn't a tube line. In the 80s, the buses were tagged to fuck. And South London had a real kind of wild style. I'm lucky because of my age group, you know, I mean, I'd probably be considered like second or third generation graffiti writer of this country. Well, the first name that I had was <laughs> Rebel. <laughs> so cheesy. Um, and there was a kid in South London who was writing coke, and I thought his name was really exciting because he had like three different meanings. So I went into a shop, looked through the drinks cabinet, and Tizer was a, a really British or UK based drink. Instantly made people know that I was an English writer. Charlie from Pure Evil got in touch with me and asked me if I'd want to do a solo show. Never been asked before, so I was like, yeah, cool. I talked to a friend of mine from Croatia and he was like, oh, I like the women that you've been painting recently. I started painting lots of girls. And then Busk, who's an old school king in my opinion. He was like, yeah, I love it, but you need to have some b-boy characters. You're known to, for b-boy characters. There's going to be a lot of writers that are going to come to your show, so they're going to see some letters as well. There's, there's people who I'd like to buy their graffiti on canvas, but, you know, like, it's just a kind of weird thing. <laughs> you know, do your own thing and try to be as positive as you can. For me, I, I think graffiti is a beautiful thing that should be cherished. It's not an evil thing. And it, it, I think it's quite strange sending people who do art to prison.